Hi guys, in this video we will see how can we create multiple choice in service catalog. Usually it is not present out of the box uh, like the multiple choice checkboxes or something like that. So we have uh, another thing called list collector. So we can use that. So I will go into my service catalog and there are some categories under that and I will go to one of the item configure item right now there are there is nothing under under this so i will go ahead and create uh, one of the uh, fields okay and i'll create a new variable so what i will do is i will select list collector type from here and maybe question i can say uh phone number and i will say the question as maybe location the name is auto populated and then the variable width is 50% and i'll choose that table name as location maybe okay so cmn underscore location and i will save this and if i go back to my catalog I will go to maintain items and I will select the avaya and I will say try it and you can see here you can there is a slash bucket created and we can select multiple values from here but often time this, this doesn't seem uh, very tidy so what i will do is i will go to configure item again and i will do a small change okay go to variable so this will improve the ui and the user experience on the catalog items slash bucket may be useful at some points of time but if you don't want that what you can do is you can go into default value and under variable attributes you can say glide underscore list and save okay now what i will do i will go back to the item and i will say try it and now you can see it comes with a little log and the, there is no slash bucket and the location uh, will be auto populated whatever location i select so i will select couple of locations and you can see this is a better user experience and you can actually select multiple values okay thank you for watching this video guys and i hope you like this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you